the guitars for Peter Rowan. He's a pretty well-known player. Norman Blake, I made him one one time. I made instruments for Doc Watson. Mick Maloney, who's a famous uh, Celtic player. And uh, John Cephas and John Jackson are two of my favorite black blues players. I've made instruments for both of them. And uh, Tommy Emmanuel, I made a guitar for him. He lives in England now, but he's originally from Australia, but probably the best player I've ever heard in my life. In contact, or the way Eric Clapton saw one of my guitars, a friend, a friend of mine named Tim Duffy uh, had, a, had one of my guitars, had had it for years, and uh, he uh, was, Eric Clapton was coming to New York to test out some recording equipment that this fella demonstrated and promoted, and so uh, he came, uh, I told him, if, if you get to see Eric Clapton, why don't you show him your guitar that I built? And I, I just wanted him to see it, you know, I didn't know. And then, the then it turned out that uh, he was, uh, he really liked it. And uh, they made me a little CD of him playing on it and talking about it, and which is really cool. He really brags on it and, and uh, said he would love to get one. And uh, I've heard later, that's been several years back, and of course, you know, the way I operate, if somebody don't keep me reminded and keep after me, I almost never make their guitars unless they, you know, that's one I should do, but I know, but, but I know, you know. He, You want one? Yeah, I'd love to get one. What size? Same as this. You want that one? Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Great. Yeah. The bluegrass guys don't like them. Why? Oh, they think they like the D28s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. Oh, you mean the style? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They like yeah. the big, big yeah. red knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's oh, great. What do you think of that instrument? I think it's great. It sounds fantastic. Especially on the top strings, it's really easy yeah. to bend. It just, it's yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's got good, good sound, very good, good ringing quality. Right. Mark, take a picture of this. Do you mind if I take a picture of this? Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne built this for me last year. Wayne. It's got Wayne Henderson. It's got an Adirond Adirondack spruce top and a Brazilian rosewood uh, back and sides. And it's modeled after a 1930s D45. Um, he made the strap button by himself out of cow bone. Um, he puts your initials. I didn't even know this until yesterday. My initials are right there. And the head stop. I, he says, I can't believe you had that a year and didn't realize it. Initials in the headstock. Yeah. Yeah. TR right there. <laughs> How long did it take you to get it? Took me two and a half years and a lot of uh, harassing Wayne. I felt kind of odd about that, but he said it was the only way to get the guitar. Is that cool with Mr. Henderson? It takes a long time to get the guitar. Yeah, that, that, yeah, it takes a long time. <laughs> Is the weight worth it? Yeah, the weight was more than worth it. Uh, it's like. Once you own one of these, you think, I own something that's irreplaceable and it's one of a kind. And if it ever gets lost or stolen, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll go mad. <laughs> Is that why you travel with it everywhere you go? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I, I sleep with it. <laughs> We're saying, you know, you, see, you're getting a different. You know, you're, you're, you're not all. See, I'm not alternating. Single strings, I got them. Sure, you are. Even with a pick, you do the same thing.
Those guitars sound good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those slack and those guitars, that's for sure. I should go get mine because it's the, you know, it's this with a cutaway. Well, that's right, you just got a brand new one. Yeah. yeah. I saw yours last night, and you know, he's a, he said he couldn't keep, bring himself to cut a hole in that. So he told you to he hand you the pickup and say, "Here, you go do it." <laughs> what am that. I gonna do? Who am I? Gonna, who else is gonna want to? Here, do put it. you my guitar. <laughs> yeah. Play that one now. Play the same thing you were just playing. Let's hear the difference in those two. This is a uh, curly maple wood and I'm bending it to make the sides for a F style mandolin. Uh, take this uh, wood and uh, cut it down to the size I want and then I boil it in the vat over there, get it good and uh, wet and warm and then I take a, a torch inside this hollow pipe and it heats up the inside of that pipe and then I'm able to uh, bend the uh, wood around the pipe like that. And just try to bend it just enough to get it where it'll fit into the form here. Trying to bend that bend right there right now. So once that gets to the right shape and I'll whip through here, then I'll cut it off somewhere right in there. And I've already got the main piece bent here. It's drying. Over here's another one I got bent. Oh my gosh, I believe that's Wayne Henderson over here. Let me go wake him up. It's time for the for the festival. Wayne, wake uh, up! Uh, Let's pick! Let's pick! <laughs> <laughs>